Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It's me, Quinkin, back with Season 2, Episode number 5 of my Real Madrid Curve Mode series. And today we're going to be facing Osasuna, but I'm going to have to rotate this squad because our next game is going to be in the Champions League versus Ruben Kazan. So we're going to have to switch out the squad right now versus Osasuna, who are like in 13th place, I think. 13th place in the league, so it should be an easy game. We're going to go away to their stadium. Hopefully we win that game, but I'm going to rotate the squad and get right into the game. First of all, we're going to switch out Tony Kroos. We're going to put in Xavi Alonso, who actually left to Bayern in real life. I can't believe he actually left. He was so important to our team last season. We won a lot of decimal with this guy, and uh, you know, he decided to leave to Bayern. He thought that you know he had to start a new career somewhere else, so he went to Bayern. And we're going to take out Gareth Bale. I think I'm going to put Jesse Rodriguez, who hasn't gotten that much time to play. So we're going to put Jesse Rodriguez in for Gareth Bale. Now this is a squad I'm going to be using. We're going to have Navas in goal. Uh, we're going to have Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, and Carvajal in the back line. Alonso, James, and Modric in that midfield. I'm going to have Ronaldo, Benzema, and Hesse up top. It's going to be versus a very weak Osasuna side, so we should be winning this game. Oh, great job, Modric. Benzema's on it. Ronaldo's on the wing. Great play. The passing so fast. Beautiful ball back to Ronaldo. That's a fall. He cuts in. Ronaldo keeps going. There's a finesse shot. Ronaldo makes it 1-0. I don't know if Benzema's okay. I think he got fouled, but beautiful job from Cristiano Ronaldo. He has his new boots, and he scores in the 30th minute to make it 1-0. And Modric is actually injured. A bruised elbow. You gotta be kidding me. He's forced to come out the game. Jesus Christ, come on, Modric. You're gonna put in Yadamendi, who is the closest that plays exactly like him. So we're gonna put Yadamendi in. Modric is out because of a bruised elbow. Let's get back into the game. Oh, that's a great center. I think that was Varane. Great clearance. We have the ball once again. Great job. He got a Mendes on it. He's playing very well today. Ronaldo, open it wide. That's a great ball to Benzema. Can Kareem Benzema actually score a goal this season? There, that's the question. There's a shot. Oh, that's a great ball. Ronaldo make the run. Great job from Ronaldo. The pressure was too much. Ronaldo cuts in. Can this be a second goal? Yes, it can. Ronaldo is just too good. Second goal in the 48th minute. Real Madrid is up. It just took pressure in the midfield to take the ball away and a great counterattack. We make it 2-0. Oh, this is bad. Ramos, he's caught out of line. Varane's there. There is a huge gap in the middle. Take it out. They're going to head it in, aren't they? Oh, great job, Carvajal. He's playing so well today in defense. Oh, Xavi Alonso wins it in midfield. He's actually playing very well. Hesse Rodriguez with the quick 1-2. Can Hesse score his first goal of the season? Yes, he can. Hesse Rodriguez makes it 3-0. Benzema with the assist. It is 3-0 in the 75th minute. I'm going to make some substitutions, guys. This is absolutely great. We're winning 3-0. Xavi Alonso is actually pretty tired. His stamina is always low when he plays. So I'm going to put Yadamendi in his spot. And we're going to take him out and put in Isco, who can really play in that position. He can open it wide, go on the wing. So that's a very good substitution there. And we're going to take out Cristiano Ronaldo and put in uh, Di Maria because I want Ronaldo to be fit for our next game versus Ruben Kazan. So we're going to put in Di Maria in for Ronaldo and we're going to put in Isco for Xavi Alonso. We're winning 3-0, so it's a very comfortable lead. Let's get back into the game. 80th minute. We can see the corner. That looks like it's going to go in. Jesus Christ, we concede a goal in the 80th minute. We're winning 3-1 still, but Jesus Christ, Navas couldn't do anything about that. That would have been his fourth clean sheet in his fourth appearance. Bad defense, look at this. No one was marking him, Jesus Christ. But we do concede the goal in the 80th minute. We're still leading the game 3-1, but Jesus Christ, man. What was that defending? Oh, Hesse, look at that. He just wins every damn ball. Hesse Rodriguez connecting. He has a great amount of pace. He's going to cut in now. Great job from Hesse. There's a great ball to Benzema. Oh my god, Benzema. You could have made it 4-1, man. Come on, that was such a great play from Hesse, though. Beautiful pass right in front. And Benzema just, Jesus Christ, he just flops right in front of the goal. Oh, that's so good. James, I see the run from James. He shoots it. Oh my god, James Rodriguez. That is the best goal I've seen in my life. The volley in the 90th minute. It's 4-1. James Rodriguez. What kind of goal was that? Beautiful job from Di Maria. This is why we need Di Maria. He just has a burst of pace. 
Hummus finishes it. Oh my god, what a goal though. To be honest, I'm very proud with this result. Winning 4-1 away against Osasuna in their home stadium is actually pretty good. We're starting to score more goals. Hamas with a fantastic goal in the 90th minute, but we do get the three points. That's what matters. And let's see how we're doing in the league table and let's move on to our Champions League game versus Ruben Kazan. Wow, that win actually catapulted us all the way to fourth place. We used to be in seventh when we got into the game versus Osasuna, but we have eight points a goal difference of nine and we're right behind FC Barcelona, Atletico Madrid and Real Sociedad who is actually having a great season. They've won all four of their games but when they face us they're definitely gonna lose. We need to face Real Sociedad soon and beat them but for the meantime we're in fourth place with eight points. We also got some bad news from our senior physiotherapist who says that Luka Modric has suffered a bruised elbow. He's going to be out for 8 days so we're going to have to take him out. We're going to put him out of Mendy who actually did a well job when I put him in for Modric when he got injured. So we're going to put him out of Mendy in his place. But this is our group for the Champions League. It's us Real Madrid, FC Schalke, Sportak Mosva and Celtic. I literally thought that Spartak Mosva was actually Ruben Kazan. I don't know what was wrong with me. Ruben Kazan is a different team. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but it's actually Spartak Mosva who is in our group. But yeah, that's our group. We should be able to top this group off easily. But, you know, FC Schalke are a great side, but we beat them 6-0 last season uh, in the quarterfinal, I think it was. And uh, that was actually very embarrassing. But we should top this group off. Let's get into the game versus Spartak Mosva. Boom, this is a squad that I've made for today. I had to switch out a lot of people because of fitness and injury. So this is a squad for today. We're going to have Casillas in goal, who is going to be our goalkeeper for all cup games. Aspilicueta on the right, Pepe, Ramos, Fabio Coentrao. And we're going to have Kadira as a defensive mid. I want him to get some playing time. He's going down in form, so I want to really play him. Tony Cruz and Di Maria in the center mid. Di Maria had a great game when I put him in versus Osasuna, so he should be playing very well today. And I want to test out how Tony Cruz does more up forward, so this should be a great experiment. Now we have Bale, Falcao, and Ronaldo up top. Benzema tired, Falcao is the one that's going to play, so nothing much you can say there. Let's get right into the game. Our objective for this Champions League season is to win the Champions League back to back. We will be the first team ever to win the Champions League back to back. You know, we, we were the first team to make it to 10 Champions League trophies. Let's be the first team to make it to back to back Champions League trophies. So, we're going to be facing Spartak Mosva. We switched out our squad. Let's start off on the right foot and win today's game. Oh, look at that. There's no pressure in the midfield. Spartak Mosva with the shot. Casillas with the save. That's a great save with the foot. 23rd minute we need to pressure them more in the midfield they're just passing through it like nothing but it's nil nil in the 23rd minute Jesus Christ oh there's a center take it out it falls back into his feet Jesus Christ oh my god man this was coming to us 36th minute they make it 1 nil our team is playing so bad man Kadira I don't know why I put him to play as a defensive mid I'm gonna put Tony Kroos in his spot cause look at him he's not appearing anywhere where, where are you, Kadira? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not taking this crap. I'm going to take Kadira out. I'm going to put him out in the center mid and Tony Kroos back in the defensive mid because Kadira is not doing that well. Let's get back into the game and score a goal before the half ends, man. Let's do this. Oh, great job, Di Maria. To Cristiano. Come on, Ronaldo. Keep going. Oh, beautiful job. Oh, Gareth Bale. Get to that Gareth. Oh my god, yes, Gareth Bale with the left foot. Oh my god. Oh, so close. Oh, Falcao to Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale, use your pace, buddy. Keep going, the Welsh man. Yes, keep going, keep going. Gareth, Gareth. Oh, finally, we win the ball back, and it's a fall. Come on, ref, you're killing us. That wasn't a freaking fall. Tony Cross. He went for the ball, man. What the hell? All right, guys. Kadira has not impressed me at all. I'm going to put in Yara Mendy. And I'm going to put in Isco for Di Maria, who's tired. We're going to take them out and put them in. Hopefully, this can make a change, man. 75th minute. We need to react. There we go. Oh, my God. It hit the post. We got so lucky. Oh, Isco. Keep going. That's a fall. That the ref. That's a fall. That's a freaking penalty. Why don't you call it? Yes, guys, we lose the game 1-0. I tried my best. Our team didn't react. 
Spartak Moskva scored in the first half. I tried my best to react. Our team was, you know, we were just so inferior to them. They they completely shut down our wings. Falcao did nothing. We lose the three points. And we start off the Champions League season with a bad loss, man. Come on. Alright, our next game is going to be versus Almeria. I'm actually going to sim this match, but we do get some mail with Di Maria. He says, I've come to my final decision. It's been difficult, but I need to leave this football club. So I'm requesting to go on the transfer list. So we're going to have to sell Di Maria. He wants to leave in real life. Well, he left in real life, and now he wants to leave in our career mode. So we're going to have to put him on a transfer list. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to put him on the transfer list. And, uh, you know, Di Maria is so important to our team. He's going to be on the transfer list now. But I'm going to switch out my squad for Almeria, and we're going to sim the match right now. So as you guys can see, this is the squad that will be facing Almeria in the league. It's going to be Navas and Goal, Garvajal, Nacho Fernandez, Pepe, Fabio Cuantra on the defensive line. In the midfield, we're going to have Kadira, who didn't play that well versus Spartak Moskva. But I want to see how he does in today's game. I want, I want to give him some minutes. And we also put Yaramendi and Isco. We're going to put Bale, Falcao, and Ronaldo up top. I want to rest uh, Benzema for a little bit more time. So we're going to get into the match. Let's see how we do. All right, so we do win the game 3-1. Yaramendi, Isco, and Cristiano Ronaldo with the goals. We took out Carvajal and Falcao. Ramos and Hesse came on for them. But we get the three points. Let's see how we're doing in the league table. That win actually bumped us up to third place. We're right behind Barcelona and Real Sociedad now, who actually drew their first game. They were on a winning streak, and they still are, but they haven't lost one game. Neither have we. We have three wins, two draws, 11 points. And look at that, 13, 12, 11. And there's like three teams with 11 points, so we moved up to third place. I also wanted to see how our squad was doing. Modric actually has two assists in six appearances this season, so he's doing pretty well. Hamas has one goal one assist. Gareth Bale has two goals, one assist in eight appearances. Benzema has two goals, three assists. So he's getting a bunch of assists. Thank God Benzema came back. And Ronaldo, look at this guy. Nine games, seven goals, three assists. This guy is absolutely insane. Ronaldo's playing so well and this is why we need him in the team. Ronaldo's the main guy and I actually want to see how Di Maria is doing. He's going to leave the club. But I want to see how he's doing so far. He has one assist this season and you know he's not doing that well but when I play with him he is so freaking good and something that actually surprised me is that Aspilicueta every time we put him in he we don't get a clean sheet he has four appearances no clean sheet so that actually says something about him but let's get into our final game of this episode it's gonna be versus uh, Real Zaragoza so let's get right into that game so our team actually did a great job on getting motivated and confident for the next couple of games we're in third place now in the league. We lost our first game of the Champions League, but we came back with a win versus Almeria. Now we have to face Real Zaragoza, and we put our league squad to play in today's game. I made no substitutions, and this is our chance to make it into that second or first place spot. Let's get into that first place spot, but let's get into this game. Ronaldo is a top leading goal scorer with five goals. Hopefully he can keep it up. Let's get into the game. Marcel is on it. He leaves it here for Bale Ramos on it. What is Ramos doing up front? He shoots it. That was actually a pretty decent shot, but what was Ramos doing up top? Oh, Gareth Bale steals it. There's a ball to Cristiano. Can he head it in? No, he can't. Oh, Gareth Bale. That's a great ball. Modric is back from injury. There's a shot. Great shot from Modric. I actually forgot to tell you guys that Modric is back from injury. He's back into the team, and that's what our team needed. Our team needed a way better midfielder, but... Great shot from Modric. Cristiano continue on. There's a ball to Gareth Bale. That's a great center. Gareth Bale with the header. I'm going to take out James Rodriguez. He hasn't been impressing me in today's game. So I'm going to take him out and put in Di Maria. Hopefully Di Maria can actually do something. But let's get back into the game. Saragossa are playing very well right now. Look at that ball. It, go it went straight to him. Oh my god. What was our defense doing? Oh, Marcelo to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, keep going. Oh, my God. Ronaldo opens it wide to Gareth Bale. Look at that. They're just parking the bus, guys. We can't do anything about that. They were parking the bus, man. I couldn't do anything. I tried my best. We only had, like, two shots on target. That's absolutely embarrassing. But, Jesus Christ, this is actually going to hurt us in the league. We lose versus Saragossa. God damn it. At the end, this is what that loss did to us. We have 11 points. We're in sixth place. 
Barcelona still in front of us. Real Sociedad, Levante, Valencia, Atletico Madrid, and Barcelona are in front of us. Our goal difference is much better than theirs, but we lost versus Real Zaragoza, who are even a great team. They're in 18th place. You gotta be kidding me. They were parking the bus. We tried our best to score goals, but nothing happened. We lost the game 1-0, and that dropped us all the way to 6th place. So that's very embarrassing. Let's see who the top scorer is. Ronaldo is tied with Victor from Levante. Messi is in third with four goals. But this is the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And I have a question for you guys. What do I do to make my team better? Because we lost versus Spartak Moskva in the Champions League. And now we lost versus Real Zaragoza. I don't know what's wrong with my team. Is it the team? Do I have to switch some players out? Please leave a comment down below. But that's pretty much it. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.